The indigenous ACE radar system has completed more than 100 hours of flying on a hired aircraft, and nearly 25 hours on Tejas test platforms, and new reports indicate that the air-to-air -air mode, and its sub-mode functionalities have been tested successfully. The indigenous ACE radar system is in competition with an Israeli radar system, and the electronics and radar development establishment of the DRDO is working hard to meet the schedules of the Tejas Mark 1A program. In a major development, the indigenous Aris Tom 2 medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle successfully flew in satellite communication mode for the first time, and it also flew with the long range electro optical payload, and these two capabilities are not available on the Heron and Searcher UAVs being operated by the Tri Services. The development team is determined to prove several new capabilities during the next set of trials, but there is still no firm commitment from the three services for the program. Russian media has reported that the Russian Air Force will modify the Su-30 fighter jets for carrying the newly developed KH-32 air-to-surface systems which have a range of 1,000 km, a ceiling of 40 km and speed of around 5,635 km per hour, and these air-to-surface systems will be made available to all the 12 operating countries of the Su-30. U.S. analysts have claimed that it can carry both nuclear and conventional payload, and it has a better resistance to electronic jamming, and will be used against both naval ships and ground targets. Interestingly, the Indian Air Force also plans to modify around 42 Su-30 fighter jets to equip them with the 450 km range BrahMos air-launched cruise systems, while the DRDO is working on the BrahMos extended range air-launched variant, that will have a range of 800 km. The Indian Army will soon issue a request for information to the defense industry to develop and manufacture around 2,600 future infantry combat vehicles, and it aims to achieve the FICV induction by 2026. The first indigenous option includes the 25-ton pre-technology demonstrator recently launched by the Ordnance Factory, and it has been rumored that several Israeli firms have approached the Ordnance Factory and has offered a new design for the FICV. The second indigenous option comes from the private sector firm Larson and Tubro, which has already presented a next-generation design that includes a 30mm unmanned turret, a fifth-generation multi-target anti-tank guided system jointly developed with the European firm MBDA, Stanag Level 4 protection, while the night vision system sighting systems and active protection systems will be developed in partnership with the US firm Raytheon. Tata Motors has selected the US firm General Dynamics as a technology partner, while Mohindra Defence will incorporate technologies from the UK-based BAE systems. <laughs> Top experts have said that the need for Indian Air Force to have a new refueling aircraft has become more important, after the recent announcement that Chinese J-15 fighter jets have become capable of conducting nighttime body refueling, in which a J-15 equipped with a refueling pod can refuel another J-15 fighter jet. The Indian Air Force is considering to procure refuelers via the lease method, while on the other hand, the Air Force has officially asked the DRDO to move forward in the AWACS development based on the Airbus A330, which can also play the additional role of mid-air refuelers, and it still remains unclear whether this could have an impact on the soon-to-be-floated tanker contest between Airbus and Boeing, or the leasing of aerial refuelers. The import ban of 101 defense items will create around 5.5 lakh crore rupees local defense market by 2025, and now even the public sector units will have to compete with private players in manufacturing of these 101 items, and this competition will encourage development of cutting-edge technologies, and the associated micro-small and medium enterprises will also have to scale up their activities and competitiveness. Apart from the big cities of Tier 1 category, now even the Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities can become hubs of defense industry, if all the 41 ordnance factories in the country encourage private defense units. 
Senior officials have gone to the US to receive the first custom-made Boeing 777 aircraft that will be used to fly Prime Minister Modi and other top Indian dignitaries. The second custom-made Boeing 777 aircraft is likely to be received in September, and the two customized aircraft will be operated by pilots of the Indian Air Force.